<laughs> you know, in this life, there are so many things that are, that happens to someone, and you you move on, and then maybe sometimes you just forget about it until somebody brings it up. I was watching a video by Ace the OG who was talking about should I tell my family members I have a YouTube channel? And when I watched that video, this was why I was ginger to you know do uh, this video and give you my own piece or experience from it you know the older you get there's so many experiences you have that you can share so i would like to share my own part of it uh, so shout out to ace the og for talking about it and bringing me into remembrance let me start from when i gave my life to christ so that i can bring you up to speed to why i'm so i'm going to see what i'm about to say when i gave my life to christ as a young man a lot of people did not believe i had actually changed because of the kind of life i lived before then i'm sure you can understand <laughs> And there, there was time somebody said, don't worry, he will not last, we know him very well. Something like this is just another person passing fancy well. I'm still here. There was another time I went for a Christian program and somebody met and was like, what are you doing here? I said, I came for this Christian, so Christian program. You mean you left your job, you left your family to come for Christian program? It's like, are you serious? You really mean you did that? And I'm like, you know, as a young Christian, I was eager to learn about life in Christianity, in ministry and all the rest. And that was like, holy water on my face. Well, I also have done it to other people, so don't, don't let me sit down here and see, tell you stories about how family and friends, what they did to me. They actually don't mean it very bad. I remember, let me talk about myself. I remember when my son wanted, I mean, told us he was going to be a music producer. He'd been in music all his life. We... My wife and I bought the keyboard, we taught him keyboard, I think from the age of six and all the rest. I didn't teach him, we got, to, got him a teacher and he became so very good in it. From there he entered into music proper. But you see, I was like an uh, old school parent, you have to be a doctor, you have to be a lawyer, you have to be an engineer, you know, that kind of parent. So I wasn't, uh, I wasn't against his music uh, career like that, but it's just I wasn't 100% in because I thought, mm, maybe it should be an accountant. <laughs> Uh, are you sure you're going to be able to take care of yourself, you know? But we thank God today, he's still he's in his music production. I mean, uh, he's a music, uh, music producer, he's taking good care of himself. they all grown up. They've left the house. It's just me and my wife in the house now. So, you see, so sometimes family and friends uh, say what they are saying, maybe just because they didn't understand you. So let me go back to the story. Why should I tell family and friends when uh, whether uh, I have a YouTube channel? Okay, one more story. I hope you don't mind. I'm into photography too, if you look. Photography and art. That's part of my work, though I know it's not showing fully. So, there was a time we went to climb a particular mountain. It takes about four hours to climb that mountain. And you know what it feels like after conquering the mountain. You raise your hand, your flag, and all the rest. And I got back to my location, and somebody said, Where are you coming from? I said, I went mountain climbing. How much did they pay you for the mountain climbing? How do I explain to you that I didn't go because they are going to pay us. I went because I wanted to see what the view up there is like. It's difficult to explain. So you see, the, this thing is neither here nor there. Okay, let's come to the issue of family and friends. What I would like to tell you is that it is better you should not tell them. Why? Because I can give you one, I can, I can explain it this way. Just like when I gave my life to Christ the first time, uh -huh, and people will uh, they won't last long. You see, family and friends may not give you that encouragement from the very get go. They will send texts to each other, they will call themselves for fun. Once it's he too here, he too, he too, he too wants to go to YouTube, and then you may get to hear some of the things they are sending to them in texts and all the rest. Even a wife or a husband, maybe the one telling you, don't go to YouTube, what you want to do there, what do you know that you want to say, what is your own experience, you who is in Stamara, you don't even have the right kind of dress, you don't have the right kind of dress sense, you don't have the kind of this thing, you that you cannot to stand well in ordinary picture. What do you even think you want to share with people? A lot of people are already on YouTube. A lot of people are sharing wonderful things. You don't have the right camera. You don't, you know, all manner of talks. If you follow it, you won't do what you want to do. So you see, it's better for you to go on and let them discover. And if they like to follow, fine. If they don't like to follow, you will have that burden of uh my wife is not following me my son is not following me on the social media and all the rest 
I give an example. I think I, and I can tell you from my own leg. I experimented it actually. When I was going to go on TikTok, people are like, it's not for your age, it's for Gen Z, it's just for right now. I have 64,000 followers on TikTok. It's not for your age, it's not for your this and all the rest. People can be insulted, people can be saucy. Yes, of course, I faced insults and from people as if sometimes they just say some things. You don't have to delete and don't have time for truth. And I said, okay, you know what? Nobody should follow me. In fact, I announced in my church, I'm now on TikTok. Nobody in the church should follow me. All of you should go and follow me, and I unfollow them, unfollow everybody. If you go to my TikTok account, I'm following just seven people. Maybe my wife, my and they came later, except for my wife who was on board from day one. So what am I trying to say? I deliberately did that because I wanted to experiment this thing. So from experience, I can tell you, I have followed everybody. I forced them out. I told people in my church, don't follow me. And I have 64,000 followers today. You know, the problem with family and friends is this. Huh? If you tell them you posted a video or you send them a link, some of them will not go and watch it. Some of them will just get, get there, follow the link, look at the video, and write under awesome, powerful, very good. When I see statements like that, you know that person did not watch the video. They will not make a comment concerning what you posted in the video. Uh, bravo, keep it up. <laughs> they watch the video. There are even cases you post a video and they are like, uh, I watched it. I mean, I posted a video 30 minutes long, and this is two minutes after posting the 30 minutes video. You are writing there, this is a very good piece. I am encouraged. You have not watched the video. Now, you see, the problem of family and friends is this. You see, these people that you tell to go and watch, they are even affecting you in, in the area of the algorithm. What am I trying to say? Because they go there, they click in, and then they click out. So by the time you have a lot of people clicking in and clicking out, because family and friends, you know, there's something we say here in Nigeria, I call it see finish. They definitely they see you every day, they know you, they know your weaknesses, they know you growing up and all the rest. So there is this the, that home oh, is not so much uh uh there. Uh, so when you are talking, you are like, what is he saying? But the same thing you said. Somebody else they don't know will say it, and they are like, Oh wow, look at revelation, come and see revelation, and I just like is that not what I've been saying since? Is there anything this person I've said that I've not said before? You see, that's the way family and friends uh, behave. And that can be bad for you on, when, you are, when, you, when we are talking of the algorithm. Because when the algorithm begins to see people click in, click out, uh, they affect your watch time. They affect like, oh, maybe this video is not so good. The algorithm will not push it anymore. So that's also why these days, whenever I share anything on uh, YouTube, uh, for example, I don't share the link to other platforms for people to come and watch. Because those people, most of the time, family and friends, they don't really, really watch. But after some time, if you are patient enough and your your posts are good, organically people will follow you. You will build a community. You won't have to rely on family and friends to go and say, oh, yeah, yeah, go and watch my video now. Have you not watched my video? Why are you not watching my video? And then you make yourself unhappy. You make yourself sad. And sometimes the negative feedback can affect your morale, can affect your confidence going forward, especially when somebody close to you subscribed. And after some time, you notice, you know, subscribe. Let me check. What else have I left out of this? The other area is that, well, if you are somebody who is not of age, you need parental consent for you to go. But if you're of age, I don't think you need anybody's consent, especially if you're not going there to do uh, uh, the wrong thing. Let me just tell you one more thing before I go. What you really, really need? Huh? Ask the Lord. God is the only one you should tell. And let me give you a trick. You know, when you come to YouTube, you are going to face the algorithm. Can I tell you a trick that will help you? You may say, I, I don't know what I'm saying. After all, I'm not monetized. After all, I'm below 4,000 uh, subscribers. I don't have, I'm not even attending uh, 4,000 watch hours and all the rest. No. The reason why I have not is because I kept going in and out, in and out, in and out over the years. I never really took this YouTube serious until recently. So, but let me tell you, when you want to go, ask God. You only have God's support. He will direct you. Ask for a word from God. Let me put it that way. One word from God will direct you. You see that word you get from God. I have the word from God concerning my ability. So I'm not bothered about uh, watch time and being monetized. I'm going to monetize. That word will work. Make that word of God your ability. When God says go, let that go be God told me to go. God told me to do this YouTube. Therefore, I know it's going to succeed. That word of God, let it be your ability. Forget about whatever Google, uh, YouTube is using as your ability. I'm not saying the, the, that word of God, let me put it this way, will now, inf will now influence 
the YouTube allocation because it's from above. It's now your allocation supervising the allocation. <laughs> I hope you understand what I'm trying to say. God will help us in Jesus' name. So that's just my take. Family and friends are good uh, uh, people. It's just that uh, sometimes they don't understand. I remember one of our popular Nigerian artists, uh, Nollywood artist, was sharing her story about when she wanted to, when she told them in the family that she, she wants to study theater arts and somebody was asking, what do you people do? They say, we'll be acting play. Let me just summarize it for you. And the person was like, you people will just wake up and be dancing and be playing. And you call that a career. Huh? Oh, okay, look at it as a young man. Now you got up now and you say, what do you want to do? I don't want to be an engineer. So what do you want to do? I want to be a content creator. What is a content creator? Uh, I, will be, I will be editing and be posting video on uh, this. How are you going to feed yourself, you see? They may be OGs like me who are not up to speed immediately. So, you see, now, some another aspect of uh, family and friends is that if they give you too much positive vibes, go ahead, we are with you and all the rest, and they don't support it to affect you. If they give you too much positive vibes, you are very good at this, and you are not good. By the time you post, and the team is not going viral, and you are not getting good returns on it, it's going to be a problem because they told you you are good when you are not good. So it's always better test yourself in the market, post your works out there. I mostly post preaching, but once in a while I post something like this to share my own opinion if I have the experience. You see. So bottom line, if you want to go on YouTube, don't ask man, ask God. And when God says go ahead, go ahead. That alone gives him is the word of God. It will work for you. I'll see you in the next video. Once more, shout out to is the OG. Encourage me to share this video. See you next time.